welcome back so yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna make two uh, routes one for the uh, it will be a scope based routes one for the user and one for the administrator because we have two roles currently so uh, I will mute the video and also the video will be uh, a little bit uh, faster than normal for next five minutes so you can either watch this or you can just skip this part uh, and after that i will explain uh, uh, all the things i will do in these five minutes
okay so before testing the work i have done in these five manners so i i just want to explain those things so if you look here we have uh, we uh, i just uh, i created a user service uh, inside our user uh, uh, inside our services folder and this user service contain user scope method and admin scope method and i am calling these two uh, api apis here if you look inside our api.php uh, and here we have uh, two middlewares one is this one and the second was second one is this one so the here is the scope user and here is the scope administrator so only the user should be able to access this and only the admin should be able to access this this should be admin okay now uh, our goal is to test these uh, these uh, scope that these are working fine or not so for that I just uh, created these uh, two methods inside our dashboard that we okay and inside dashboard that we I, uh, I have created two methods here uh, the user scope and admin scope and uh, and you inside user scope we are calling the user scope method inside our user service here this one okay and also the admin scope so and i am calling these uh, from these two buttons as we know that we are defining these scopes uh, whenever a user logged in so we uh, when a user is logging in uh, then inside our login method we are creating a token but also we are attaching a scope to that uh, if the user role is administrator then we are attaching a administrator scope to that token and uh, for the user we are attaching user and we know that inside our uh, uh, our service provider uh, we are creating these here okay uh, the administrator and user so we are creating the scopes here okay and uh, we know that inside our database we have two roles only uh, one is administrator and the second one is user so if you look here uh, uh, the alum gear uh, has the role uh, the role administrator and uh, mike stew has role uh, user okay so here i am logged in as a mike stew mean a user and here I am logged in uh, as Alamgir main uh, administrator, okay? And this is a normal Chrome browser, and this is this one. And, okay, so now let's test this, okay? If I click on this, it should be able to uh, access this route because uh, it, uh, this is a user, okay? So, okay, it says that user can access this okay but the admin should not be able to access this so, so i am getting 403 and here the user should not be able to access this so when i click this it says 403 uh, cannot access this for wedding okay and if i click admin scope so i am able to access this okay admin can access this so it's mean that our scopes are working just fine and to uh, now further uh, we have to create uh, two pages one for the user where a user will be able to create a category and one for the administrator which is already done but we have to uh, use the scope to only allow the administrator to access those things okay so uh, administrator will be able to create update and delete uh, and do all the cruds uh, for the category okay and uh, also this is now the backend for the front end, we have to use our Vue.js middlewares to protect each uh, route. So let's do the further things in the next tutorial.